Thanks, Darren. Well, we know now that several patients who were hospitalized after yesterday's orchard incident in Chippewa County have been released. More than two dozen people were hurt when a wagon rolled over, resulting in a mass casualty protocol being activated. WEAU's Daniel Gomez speaks with an expert who was also involved in the massive response about that protocol. A mix of 25 adults and kids were hurt during a school field trip at Bushel and a Peck Orchard Wednesday. A tractor pulling two wagons quickly went down a hill, causing one wagon to roll over. That prompted the Chippewa Fire District to initiate a mass casualty protocol. Thankfully, it doesn't happen often. Marshall Clinic Medical Center in Eau Claire was involved. We saw seven patients. Uh, we cared for them each individually and uh, Thankfully, they were all discharged home in good and stable condition. Robin Schultz oversees the emergency room and says it was full at the time the call went out. There's never over prepared in our mind, uh, but we do it often and um, quickly so that we can respond appropriately. Schultz says the concentrating for this rare event revolves around communication between all staff needed. It also helps when there's clear communication with first responders triaging the incoming patients. What do we know about the scene? How many patients do we have? What types of injuries should we expect? And then how acutely ill or injured are those patients? Casper Ben Dixon does research surrounding farm safety in kids. He says there's been a rise in popularity for these activities. Revenue from 2012 to 2017 grew from $704 million in revenue to $950 million. He has some recommendations. When you engage in these activities, you've got a nice ratio of adults to, to children, and that all the adults that are responsible for those children have a plan and understanding of how the day is going to go. Ben Dixon also recommends to check how landowners manage operations surrounding activities involving heavy machinery. Daniel Gomez, WEAU 13 News. Thanks, Daniel. And right now, we do not know the conditions of the other patients who were hospitalized. We did reach out to Mayo Clinic Health System about its number of patients involved in the orchard incident, but have not yet heard back.